this is not a spring chicken you caught me. <laughs> I love these things. These are the rush balls. And it's just a little bit of fruit to get you going in the morning with some granola. It's just, well, let's just say, it. it's really just kind of healthy. But there's a lot of, what was, what was the big news today? Oh, even the president's people are thinking, something might be manufactured when it comes to Wall Street. Mm -hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on the comments on the headlines of today. William Marr invaded you, William Mayhart. Ah, uh, but old Cam's, not old Cam, <laughs> Obama's campaign is throwing Bill Maher into the wheels now? Yeah, well what happened was yesterday, Soledad O'Brien, who is basically, as they say, gets her walking orders and talking points from the White House directly, and David Axelrod, she was basically the point person. Well, I mean, I can't, uh, it was totally wrong, Bill Maher should not be calling women you know, sluts and whores and going after their children and all of this stuff. And uh, David Axelrod, well, yes, uh, I agree, you know. I can't, you know, stop him from doing things because that's what he does for a living. But uh, we at the White House do think that he sometimes goes way over the edge and we are, think it is totally inappropriate. But, and no, ma and no ma matter, shape, or form, is it as bad as what Rush Limbaugh did. But. And we have to reaffirm at the White House. And O'Brien said, I, I agree with the President of the United States that you cannot tolerate statements, even if it's in jest. But uh, I also agree with the White House that everything in Rush Limbaugh was far worse. So they Basically what it was is... What happened it, to freedom of speech? No, no, it has to do with the problem is a slippery slope on freedom of speech. Yeah. Is that, um, I, mean, uh, I mean, actually I'm back far enough to have been there when when Oliver Wendell Holmes did the thing on, uh, on it said, uh, freedom of speech does not mean you can yell fire in a theater. Mm -hmm. And what happens is, is Bill Maher, you know, he, he lied through his teeth. Well, I've done this a thousand times during my act and not one complaint has ever been filed. And then they put, then they basically, which was a stupid thing to say because he's got nothing but complaints to HBO. But what it is, if it's a complaint from, uh, a woman, he ignores it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love that. He's attacking women, but if a woman complains about it, he does, he ignores the complaint. Well, well, yeah, and not to mention that Bill Warren did how much of President Obama's oh, million. They're not giving a million dollars back. They're just telling people they found. Why they're not giving a million dollars back? Because the super PAC, which they were depending upon massively to attack Republicans, has only got four million dollars total. And as they pointed out in the news yesterday on a left-leaning channel, the President of the United States has spent 158% of the money that he's raised. Yeah, and Bill Maher put in one quarter of it. Yeah, and that's something, and they spent more than that, so. And Apple says shipment of new iPad may take two to three weeks. I mean, this is ridiculous, folks. You're buying something you may not even get your hands on until sometime in May at the moment. They are, well, we sold out the original amount. Well, they didn't have any. Uh, works is called, I heard one person said that I consider this to be fraud. There's a difference between taking orders and selling. They were selling devices that they have now admitted they cannot deliver for three weeks or maybe longer because they don't have them. Mm -hmm. and that is against, the, there is a, a, the Advertising Council of the United States has a law directly prohibiting members of that council from promoting an item that they do not actually have. There's also a law in the United States that says you must have the item that you are selling on the shelves unless you're taking pre-orders. Okay. They were selling the items. Oh, and this isn't a pre-order because that's, it's actually supposed to be out already. That's right. 52% mm -hmm. GOP voters say Obama is Muslim, the poll. Yeah, those are the people that believe. The other 48% know he is. I mean, everybody in the country knows that Obama Okay, we're going to put it this way. You don't name many Christians Barack Hussein Obama. <laughs> his, and first of all, his name is Barry. It is Barry Obama. The Barack Hussein was came when he became a Muslim, a full-fledged Muslim. That's what you do. I mean, Muhammad Ali. I remember when it was Cassius Clay. I actually got to, to throw a few rounds with him in a movie once. Mm. And I hit him. And Limbaugh's slut comment controversy proves it has staying power. It has no staying power whatsoever except for the Democrats. And what happened, okay, you think that the, Repo the Democratic white the election machine wouldn't have talked, 
uh, mark under the wheels of their bus if they thought that they had the issue on their side. The problem is Republican women are all agreeing with the statements. And uh, what happens is you do not want to get the Republican women pissed off at you because they don't vote in lockstep with the men. Republican women have a notor they're notorious on their hands in an election if they don't like the candidate. Right now, they don't like the candidate, but they really dislike Obama saying, 98% of all the women, including Republicans, believe in birth control. And, uh, and, and no, they don't. The Catholic women basically don't. The Orthodox Jews, they don't. You know, the Muslim women, they don't. So basically you start pigeonholing yourself with that 98% figure, and you piss off all the women saying that we support the president. No, they don't. And youngest in Diderot race, champion crowned in Alaska. Yeah, they're already looking into problems with dogs. Oh no, why? Because they, uh, what happens is they, they think that dogs have been juiced. Should that be a surprise? <laughs> yeah, no, it shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> so, I mean, let me tell you how. Okay. <laughs> dogs are, a dog is more likely to do something if you give it something than not. I mean, what, what, okay, the, the chair dog demands to have her backside scratched every morning when you work for her. This morning, there was a piece of, uh, a, a piece of, of, uh, of, of meat, of meat that was not used for cooking this morning, and when she got that, she just totally abandoned being have her back scratched. So dogs can be bought real easy. Real easy, just put the. the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, some dogs. All they have to do is put a stick out with meat in front of them. Yeah, well, that's it. Okay, hey, hey, folks. You know, uh, hey, hey, doggy. I have a piece of meat for you. Can I come in and rob your house? <laughs> yeah. So. And bus crash in Swiss tunnel kills 28 people, mostly children. Another bus crash. Sounds like a school bus. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a tourist bus. Um, mm. What happened is, is that the, what happens? The tunnels under those mountains are, are your. I mean, they've got one up by Denver that's the same way, and you know it's a huge long tunnel through the mountain to cut the time from going around. But everybody's going through the tunnels too fast. If there's anything that happens, everybody piles up, and you have one god awful big accident. Docs say brain injury could have sparked Afghan massacre. Yeah, well, what happened? Uh, okay. Leon Panetta and the left-wing Democrats have went, went too far with the, um, with the, uh, the we're going to you know, death penalty is going to be mandatory. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. And, uh, and, you know, the guy was a soldier wounded in action and should never have been put back. But there, I'll give you the redeeming feature. Mm -hmm. George Bush and the Republicans are responsible for this. No, he's in, his, he was in his, he's in his third term. Well, okay, you know what BS says? Who was the man that sent him there for three straight terms? Mm -hmm. Our President Obama. It wasn't Bush that sent him there. He was sent there under Obama's command for three tours and they, and they were going to send him back for a fourth when he snapped. And docs say brain injury could have sparked Afghan massacre. Yeah, you know, if you like that, I'm sure it twice. I know. Well, the jury gets case in Rutgers web, webcam spying trial. Oh, okay. They found him guilty on every charge and they were they were a hung jury. They couldn't find him uh, find, uh, guilty and then all of a sudden, the next, you know, uh, three hours later, he's found guilty on every count. And you know why he was found guilty of every count? Because the Indian government is demanding he be returned there immediately for violation of his uh, his rights. They put him in a room. They they put a uh, basically a, a, a member of the Hindu faith in a room with a person that was practicing gay sex in violation of the guy's rights. And that's what the webcam was on all about. Was because the university wouldn't listen to him, so he's showing the world what's going on at Rudders. So, but uh, he'll be um, he'll be in India next week probably. And Utah Senator Hatch threatened by Tea Party challenge. Yeah, they think he's going to lose uh, primary because um, Hatch is one of those that's voted to spend money every time the uh, bills have came. Oh, really? Up. Yeah. And Ben and Jerry's launches a new flavor to support gay marriage. Oh, this is getting to be asinine. But first of all, every time gay <laughs> marriage comes up before the voters, they vote it down. They keep. What, what they're doing is you have, uh, okay, they're even losing it in, uh, 
in states that are heavily Democratic. California is Democratic. You know why they lose it? Because the black voter and Hispanic voter do not like believe in gay marriage. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, okay. You may not like the way things are going, but get used to it. <laughs>